Hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS Learning and now we are on to the second tutorial of Pinecone okay so in the first tutorial we saw what Pinecone is uh, what are the basics of Pinecone and we saw how to use indexes how to get your own API key how to use the UI tool of Pinecone and how to do the same activities using code also okay now in this uh, video that is the second tutorial we will be seeing about metadata filtering and namespaces what is metadata filtering and what is namespaces in pinecone okay so let's get started so here in this first cell i am installing my uh, pinecone client and pandas okay here with the help of get pass i will be entering my pinecone api key and my pinecone environment okay if you don't know how to get your pinecone api key and environment i have explained these things into my first video so you can check the video okay i would recommend you not to start with the second video straight away uh, things might not be able to very easily understandable it's better if you see the first part and only then come on to the second part okay so here i'm importing my pinecone okay and here i am assigning my api key and my environment from the environment variables okay and here i am initializing my pinecone with the api key and environment okay now the next thing is uh, here i will be creating an index so what is index in pinecone it is the highest organizational unit in pinecone okay uh while using a pinecone the first thing you would be doing would be creating an index okay and then in that index you will be saving your vectors okay so in this way because uh, the first topic we will be covering is pinecone metadatas so here i have kept the index name as pinecone metadata okay so let me first show you the ui okay so this i guess the metadata filtering uh let me do one thing let me delete it he is asking me to enter so that i would be showing you from fresh so here my index has been deleted as you can see that now there are no indexes okay so now the next thing what we'll be doing is here i will be creating my pinecone index here i've kept the dimension as 2 that means that uh, vectors of two dimension i can save in this pinecone index okay and here i've kept the metric as euclidean so whatever query operations which you will be doing for finding the similarities between the vectors it will be done on the euclidean distance measure okay you can keep a uh, cosine also okay it's taking time for creating the index here i am connected to t4 i think e, uh, even if you are connected to cpo it should not be a problem okay yes so as you can see that my uh, pinecone index has been created and now here i will be doing my connection with the index okay now i want to store my data into the index okay so we will be having a vectors that will be two dimensional vectors okay we will be having our ids associated with the vectors okay and now we want to see metadata filtering okay so what we can do is we can save some metadata which is associated with that vector for example here in this case we have the id f1 f2 s1 and s2 now what metadata we are saving for this vector is it is of category finance and published in 2015 category finance published in 2016 category sport published in 2017 in a similar ways okay so we have our ids okay your f1 f2 s1 and s2 and we have the vectors and we also have some metadata which which is associated with that vector okay so here i'll i will be creating my data frame okay 
it will be like a id vector and metadata and now here i will be upserting upserting my data into my index so as you can see that the dimension is 2 index fullness here is almost 0 because only four entries only four entries have been inserted namespace here is currently empty okay what namespace is we will be seeing it later vector count here is 4 and the total vector count is also 4 now let's see this entry on ui okay let me do a refresh okay so as you can see that my index is created my index name is pine cone metadata filtering the environment on which i have created this uh, project is Asia Southeast one uh, GCP okay this is located in Singapore okay the dimension is 2 total pods is kept as 1 and pod type is p1.x1 what is pod type currently think of it as they are just your computing units okay it's a term generally used in Kubernetes okay and this is my uh, uh, server where my index is present okay as you can see that the region is of singapore you in asia you only have two options singapore and japan okay and most of the options are from usa okay as you can see that my pod fullness is zero which was also shown in index fullness pod is one replica is one okay total pod is one what is replica i think of replica like uh, it is used uh, so that your pod has higher availability let's say for by some accident some pod goes down you have its replica okay so the availability is there okay now these are my four vectors okay id their metadata and their values okay you can edit the values from here you can add your own entries from here also and you can also delete the vectors okay and uh, this is uh, an operation of query by vector this operation will give the matching results for top 50 entries on the basis of Euclidean distance. In video one, you must have seen that I was using the cosine. Here I'm using Euclidean. Okay. Then uh, you, you, you can also do a query by ID. Okay. You just need to enter your ID. Let's say if I put your F1 and I kept your, let's say top one. So as you can see that only F1 will be returned. Okay. Then because here there is no namespace, only default is present with the uh, number of vectors as four. What is namespace and all, we'll see it later. Okay, and this is just a matrix for keeping track of the request. Okay, uh, this thing was already covered in uh, tutorial one, so I won't be covering it again. Okay, now let's go back to uh, the collab, okay. Now, uh, we did this operation on UI also. This is how you do it in code. We have a dot fetch function. Okay. Uh, here you will be passing your IDs and you can fetch by ID. Okay. As you can see that it's a, it's a default namespace. So no namespace has come. You have got your vector, uh, a vector ID F1, your metadata, associated metadata and the values for it. Okay. Now this is index.query where you would be passing a certain vector and I you want some let's say top three rows, top two rows. So here I'm passing vector ones, uh, sorry, F1's uh, vector, okay? And because I'm using the Euclidean distance, as you can see that the closest match here is the F1 vector itself with score as zero because it's the same vector. Now similarly, you have F2 as closest and S1 as the third, uh, second closest, a third closest, okay? So this, uh, this is how you uh, do a fetch by ID and a, a query by vector. Okay. Now the next thing is how to use metadata for filtering. Okay. Now we saw that we had the metadata is finance and published. So how we can use is we can set a filter condition. Okay. Let's say I want the vectors only of uh, finance. Okay. So I've put here equal to finance and greater than 2015. Okay. So I've set my filter condition and then I've queried in that format. I'm giving a vector, okay, that is F1. I want top three results and this is my filter condition. And I only want finance and greater than, greater than 2015. So only one vector is returned, okay, which has uh, the all the condition being satisfied, okay. And then I'm deleting the index, okay. 
So let me delete the index and show you on UI that the index goes away. Okay. So as you can see that operation is done and let me do a refresh now. It should have gone, right? Huh, yes. So as you can see that here we have no indexes. Okay, so, th so this is what was in metadata filtering. In short, think of metadata filtering as some metadata associated with that vector, which you can use for doing your query operations in a more granular level. Okay, just simple as that. Okay, you are saving some metadata which is associated with that vector, and then you can use that metadata for filtering out in a much better way. Simple as that. Okay, now the next thing is namespaces. What is namespaces? Think of namespaces like if you now you have your data into indexes okay but let's say if you want to break down that data into some partitions okay where you would be creating separate partitions from that index data okay that is when namespace comes into handy in the uh, in the metadata uh, explanation on ui you saw that there was just a default namespace okay now you can break that data into sub partitions with different namespaces okay let's say if you have an index with movies for example you uh, you can break them up into different genres like uh, comedy horror uh, romance uh, in this way okay and uh, then a uh, few important points when you do some read or write operation into a namespace only that namespace will get updated okay two namespaces can have same ids but they uh, can have different values so vectors with same ids can be present into two namespaces and they are allowed to have two different values also okay this is generally used when you want to do some uh, data pre-processing pipeline on subset of a data okay let's say for example building a movie recommender system if you want to do some recommendation only on genre then it comes handy okay now let me repeat the process again here i am creating an index name here i am uh, creating the index dimension here is 2 and metric here is euclidean okay what i've observed is uh, while creating the index it takes time okay even while creating uh, the index for metadata filtering i felt that it took more more time than usual this is the same thing which i'm observing uh, now also that even while creating this index it is taking more time okay yeah yeah it's done Although it is much faster than the one which I saw into metadata filtering, in there it really took a lot of time. Okay, let uh, let me go to UI and see whether my index is created. As you can see, the pinecone name spacing is created with the same uh, infra settings here. Okay, now the next thing is let me connect to index. Okay, and here I am uh, creating my uh, data frame which I want to upload to the uh, ve uh, vector DB. Okay, here I am upsetting my data. That is, I have pushed only ID and vector. Right now, I don't have any metadata. Okay, I only just have IDs and vectors. Okay, now what I'll be doing is I'll be creating a subsection of the data set. Okay, which I want only as let's say romantic comedy movies. Okay. So I'll be creating a new uh, new data frame, romcom df, okay, which we, which is kind of a subset of the original df, okay, and then I'm absorbing it with passing as a namespace parameter, okay. Now see what is the data set happens here. See here, we have a default namespace which contains four counts, okay, and then we have a romantic comedy namespace which contains vector count as two, and the total vector count here is six, okay. Now let me go to UI. And let's see the namespaces properly. So as you can see that we here have two namespaces now. Romantic comedy, which we created from the subset of the uh, first index. And then we have a default. And a total vector count here now is six. Okay. And uh, now let's do, let's, do, let's do the query. Now here in this query, if you saw that namespace parameter has not been passed, so it will take into consideration only the default namespace okay only the operation will be executed on the default namespace it's a uh, query okay on similarity of the vectors okay 
and then if you want to do some specific query on some sort of namespaces you have to specify the namespace okay so here are specified as a namespace of romantic comedy and the operation will be executed only on that namespace okay and here i'm deleting the index okay so yeah this was a short tutorial of uh, metadata filtering and namespaces okay now after this video in the third tutorial we will be straight away jumping to uh, projects okay uh, maybe building some recommendation systems uh, using pine cone and maybe some search functionality okay so yeah if you learn something new please do give it a thumbs up uh, share it with your friends and stay tuned to as for more such amazing tech stuff take care peace out